You've seen the airfoil WGEM thermal cam on WGEM News. Used to assist in search and rescue operations. Used by police to search for fleeing criminals. And the Halicam used to show the destructive path of storms in the area. The airfoil thermal cam uses the same technology developed for the handheld thermal imaging cameras, but is mounted on a sophisticated gyro-controlled mount at the base of this radio-controlled helicopter. This life-saving tool was developed in part by Airfoil Aviation, and it's the only one of its kind in the country. As seen in news reports, this unit can be used during the day or night and can fly in and close to dangerous situations without putting the lives of firefighters or law enforcement in danger. It can cover large areas, eliminating the need for extensive search operations. This is a valuable tool and has already assisted with search and rescue operations. The uh, thermal cam helps us as far as getting a higher uh, level of visibility over a large area and particularly some of the best examples we can use as far as if we have somebody that's missing or if we've had somebody that's fled uh, from our custody or uh, anybody that may have we need to find or search for. And obviously, when you're talking about different elements, whether it be daylight or dark, or particularly more in the, in the evening hours, it's very difficult to cover those areas. And when you have a thermal cam, you have a definite advantage to cover such a large area in a relatively quick time. And you have the advantage of being able to see what's going on above you and send your people in those appropriate directions. And hopefully it comes to a, uh, a good conclusion. When two Quincy girls were reported missing, the thermal cam assisted in the search and safe rescue of the girls. When a Liberty man was reported missing, the thermal cam aided in the search operation. It covered large areas and was able to pinpoint thermal images above cornfields. The search and rescue team utilizes the airfoil thermal cam uh, on about every search we go on. It allows us to get a, a picture of an open field in a hasty search, rapidly search that uh, area. We can pinpoint if there's any heat signatures in that area and identify what those are, potentially saving lives uh, in, in a very fast a manner. Well, the most recent opportunity we had to use airfoil services was at the oil spill down at Two Rivers Marina. It was a big asset to us at that time because the helicopter was able to get out over the water and uh, locate the oil spill for us and determine just how extensive it was without the spill being disturbed or without boats having to enter that particular area. It was also used to fly over the hot zone and that saved us from having to actually send personnel into an area where we didn't actually know whether we were dealing with the hazardous material yet or not. So it was able to speed our response because we were able to determine very quickly just how extensive the area was that had been Im impacted by that oil spill. What airfoil is, is another tool that, uh, that law enforcement can utilize. And it's a valuable tool, both because it's so darn effective and also because it's so cost effective. Because they're providing a, that service to the public, uh, it's it, a big asset to every agency out. For crime fighting, it can track down criminals on the run. When authorities in Pike County were searching for suspects accused of stealing anhydrous ammonia, the thermal cam was there and assisted in the apprehension. Airfoils allows us to immediately focus on a larger area um, instantly from a sky view. Within an hour they were down here in our area and we had visual of, of a larger uh, area from the sky than we would have had obviously from the ground. And it sees a lot more than, than we can see, um, both in color, in black and white, and then if it's at nighttime uh, ops, obviously it offers us uh, heat sensors which, which allows us to pick up those type of things. I'm able to talk firsthand with the pilot who's remotely controlling um, the aircraft and, and the guy who's obviously observing 24-7 um, the camera. And to have a resource like this and to have them work with law enforcement in the manner in which they've worked, they're immediate in response and they'll stay as long as you need them and, the, and they'll assist you in any part of the investigation if there's any evidentiary issues later on. And it's been a huge, huge help to us. For firefighters, the thermal cam can spot hot spots, saving valuable time and possibly the structure. It can guide firefighters to the possible origin of the fire. The Thermal Cam campaign has been recognized by the Missouri Broadcasters Association as the best public service campaign in the state. Uh, anything that you can add to your you know, uh, tools and resources to find someone or to make your job easier is, is definitely uh, makes life easier for us. Through the efforts of Airfoil Aviation and WGEM, 
We are making this service available free to area fire or police departments. All you have to do is call us and we will be there to help you in your efforts. No fundraising, no equipment to maintain, just a phone call. For more information, you can call one of the numbers on your screen.